There was a saint that once said, as a moth gnaws at a garment, so does envy consume a man. I agree. It says in 1 Peter 2 verse 1, rid yourself of all wickedness, all deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and all slander. The Bible tells us to get rid of envy, but in a competitive, cutthroat world that we live in, it's easy to become envious of the success of others. We know that envy is wrong, but because we're frail, imperfect human beings, we often find ourselves struggling with feelings of envy or resentment or both. These may be especially forceful if we see other people experience unusually good fortune. Have you recently felt the pangs of envy creeping into your heart? If so, it's time to shift your focus to the marvelous things that God has done for you and for your family. And just as important, to do your best to shift your focus away from the gifts that God has given to others. Want a surefire formula for being happier and to live a healthier life? It is to count your own blessings, to let your neighbors count theirs. When you do, you'll move beyond envy to true joy and contentment. That is the real riches that we have in this life.